Hello, hello. I wanted to send you a video message thanking you for your email. Uh, it's emails like that that really they make the process or the whatever journey that I found myself on these past couple years um, you know they make it worth it. I mean it's worth it anyway for ourselves but when you could connect with other people and hopefully show them that they're not alone going through whatever they're going through that makes it even more meaningful for me anyway um, number one I want to say that what you're going through is normal that there's millions of people in America that go through it millions of people just in America so you know multiply that by whatever for the whole entire uh, world and you've got a whole bunch of people that are experiencing the same thing you're experiencing at this moment right now so you are not alone you also have a whole bunch of people that have overcome it that have worked through it and come out actually more peaceful more open happier people because of it so you have that to look forward to um, if I can give you any advice the two biggest things are to commit to stop making yourself suffer because when it comes down to it we have to admit that knowingly or unknowingly we are causing ourselves to suffer um, due to the stories that we create about what the scenario is we want to go into or due to our aversion from the feelings that we feel it really comes down to the choices that we make um, and sometimes they're hard choices and sometimes they're understandable choices but it really comes down to the choices that we make to avoid that feeling of fear that we get when we go out because it's not going to the mall and it's not sitting in a classroom or driving a long distance it's the feeling of fear that you have during that that you end up wanting to avoid which is understandable but it's still a choice to avoid it that causes the agoraphobia to get even worse and then it just kind of becomes automatic and then the other choice and then listening to the thoughts about that and the stories that we create around that whole thing and then once you decide that you're not going to torture yourself anymore and make yourself suffer then you really have to commit to experiencing whatever you're experiencing physically with an open mind and open heart which you already are naturally built to do. That's how you come into this world as a baby. You come into this world open, free to experience anything that you want. That's why babies and kids, small children, until they become more self-conscious, are so fearless, usually, unless they've been taught otherwise. Because they're just, they're like us. We were them at one point. And we are naturally open to everything. We're built to experience everything, including fear. We're built to experience that. So it's not something that can break you. It may feel very uncomfortable um, and you want to get away from it, which is perfectly normal, but you're built to be able to take it. Because I can is a really great phrase that I, I love to use and say to myself and and remind myself of uh, every now and then. Why am I going through this? What about this? Because I can. Because I'm perfectly capable of doing it. I may not like it very much, but I'm capable of doing it. So you have to commit to stop torturing yourself and stop making yourself suffer. And then you have to, in order to do that, you commit to feeling the experience of wherever you're at fully. Um, a lot of this, a lot of the agoraphobia is caused by ruminating. We have an addiction to thinking and just ruminating on stuff. And then we are uh, prone to aversion, just getting away from things that are uncomfortable. Those two things cause anxiety disorders because you can't get away from reality. So we're constantly running from ourselves and from the world around us and where can we go, which sends us into a panic. So the biggest thing that's helped me is really stop thinking just feel feel whatever you're going through feel, practice in moments that aren't scary practice when you're at the house feel how the chair feels on your legs or the ground underneath your feet or the air hitting your skin or how cold or how warm it is or just practice feeling and every time you start to think about something 
say to yourself in your mind, what I do is I go, thinking, that's just a mental note, thinking, doesn't matter what I'm thinking, I don't care about the content, I just go thinking, because I notice I'm thinking, and then I go back to feeling, and that starts to train you to stop ruminating and just get to whatever is really happening, that puts you right directly in line with reality, and if you're directly in line with reality, then you will always be fine, always, because you're built for that. The experience itself isn't really what breaks us down. It's the stories and the aversion from it that breaks us down. It's the running away from it that breaks us down. But if you can train yourself to just feel, get out of here thinking, and go right back to feeling, then you'll start to find that these situations that once were really scary become more tolerable. And sometimes the fear goes away automatically because you're bringing yourself back to the moment and you start to tolerate uh, discomfort better you start to stop avoiding it that was a confusing <laughs> sentence but you stop avoiding discomfort as much um, and it actually becomes a tool to you becoming more open so those are the biggest keys that I can give you I hope they're very helpful feel free to send me an email at any time and I will offer you whatever suggestions I can. I will definitely email you the children's book. And I just finished another book, which was my, it's almost like my personal journal um, of this whole experience with agoraphobia and derealization and anxiety. It's in the form of a dialogue. After I'd meditate, I'd, I'd really try to get to the bottom of what was happening. And I ended up writing all of it down. And I literally just finished it. And I will send you the PDF version of it for free and maybe that'll help you out too because there's a bunch of stuff in there that I worked through that helped me so maybe it can help you but um, hang in there and believe in yourself and everything is going to be alright